Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Anastashkina and this month, the month of December, we are going to talk about Christmas Victor paper decorations. And I'm going to teach you how to make pine branches, pine cones, holly leaves and berries, and this beautiful shiny and sparkly with a paper snow texture. Hope you can see this. And today we are going to start with the coloring with a paper, talking about with a paper and making this pine branches. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's begin. The question I get asked a, a lot, what is the difference between rice paper and wafer paper? Rice paper, we call this thin rice paper and it's a spring roll wrapper. So it is a thin, rigid, very rigid, plasticky-like sheet of edible paper. It is not the same, you can see how easily it breaks. It is not the same as wafer paper, this wafer paper. But I know that in some countries, wafer paper or rice paper looks like this. And the difference is that the rice paper, what is called rice paper, if it looks like this, it's, if it's white and rectangular, the main ingredient is uh, rice starch. And wafer paper, the main ingredient is potato starch. So you can use them interchangeably. You can use wafer paper instead of rice paper if it looks like this, if it's white. If, it's, if your rice paper look, looks like this, it's not the same. And uh, if we are talking about regular wafer paper, usually it has two sides. One side is uh, bumpy side or what we call bumpy side. And the other side is smooth side. So. If you prefer to work on a bumpy side, work on a bumpy side. I've tried them all and I've tried all sides for different wafer papers this way, that way. They are absolutely equal. So you don't need to stress about that. You just use whatever makes you happy, whatever works for you. I'm going to place a sheet of wafer paper just for the demonstration purposes. Usually what I do is I have a cardboard box and I place my wafer paper in the cardboard box just to prevent spraying around. If you are professional with airbrush, you can definitely use an airbrush to do this step. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, my spray bottle. I'm going to take an airbrush color. This is forest green airbrush by the mirror color. By a mirror color. So it's a mirror mist uh, forest green. I love this color because I think it's a perfect color for uh, creating foliage and everything. And I'm going to use uh, food grade glycerin. And I'm going to take a little bit of water because I am in very dry climate. So it depends on your humidity. If you're living in a very humid area and your humidity is maybe like 60% and up, instead of water, you can use a few drops of alcohol. Put a little bit of uh, this green, forest green airbrush color like this. I'm going to add a few drops of glycerin. This is food grade glycerin. It will prevent wafer paper from melting. And maybe the same amount as I have my green color water and shake it. But if you are working with an airbrush and you want to airbrush your wafer paper, you can do the same. So you need to use airbrush color, a few drops of glycerin and water or alcohol depends on your humidity. I'm going to spray this with this green mixture. Usually I would put it aside to dry, then turn it upside down and add another layer or maybe a few more layers, depends on the color that I need for this particular application. Creating something like this. So you can spray and you can see that all this sparkles and all the spots just making your wafer paper even brighter and I believe more realistic when we are going to make uh, 
spine branches and if you do not have a minimizer or you don't want to use it you can use the same mixture airbrush color and a few drops of glycerin and a touch of water or alcohol depends on your preference and you can use a brush and you can just paint on your wifi paper but you can see that the difference between this color and this that was just sprayed is a little bit different and measure about one inch from the beginning of my sheet of wafer paper and i'm taking a dresden tool just to score it lightly and i will do a few lines because i'm in a dry climate you can see that i can just fold my wafer paper and break it but if you want you can use scissors but a pair of scissors to cut a few strips of wafer paper but i found that if you are just making those edges not as straight and not as perfect it looks much more realistic than just um, using a pair of scissors and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut a few slits like this and for me I'm just going to the width or like length of my scissors and these are very sharp tiny scissors and you can see that I do not cut through the whole length or like width of wifi paper and I'm creating the fringes and the thinner you go and the easier like the lighter your pine branch would look like but you can cut through two layers at once just to speed up the process like this and i have a few ones pre-made we are going to assemble those and then i will take a piece of wire do you have the class materials did you download that if not just leave me a comment that you would like to have it and i will go back and send you all the links and everything where you can download the class materials for this demonstration so just let me know in the comments do you need or do you have and in your class materials it says that i'm going to use 24 gauge white wire you can use white or you can use green it's up to you i already found this green so let's use this green one but i actually prefer to use white i believe you just need to look for paper covered or cloth covered with paper you can see that this one has uh, paper so with paper would stick to this cloth covered uh, wire and i'm going to cut it in half and next step what we are going to do is take our wafer paper glue so basically i collect all my wafer paper scraps in a bag and then i add water i prefer to add distilled water you can melt your wafer paper and water mixture in a microwave in about like five second increments or you can soak it and leave it to bloom overnight and I'm going to use my um, moisturizer, my sprayer for my wifi paper or like steamer just because I'm in extremely dry climate. Today my humidity is 36%. It's out of this world. If I would try to uh, fold this wifi paper, it will break. It's already breaking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add moisture just to make it flexible so if you are working with wafer paper and your wafer paper do not want to behave the way you want it if it breaks on you if it's uh, just not flexible enough the first reason probably is because it is too dry and there are a few ways to soften your wafer paper you just need to add moisture first of all you can use a steamer like this this is a mini steamer i bought of amazon obviously and the other way you can put even your when you cut your pieces already colored already do did all the snippy snippy thing uh, you can put it in a bag 
take a smaller plastic bag, put a, a damp paper towel and put it inside this bag. I have a video somewhere on my YouTube channel if you want to learn that. But the main uh, reason why your wifi paper breaks mo most of the time is just to dry. I'm going to apply a little bit more moisture to make it flexible. To assemble my branch, I'm going to take my wire. I'm going to make a tiny hook like this because it will help our wifi paper to hold to this wire and make it easier for wifi paper to stick. I'm applying just a tiny amount of wifi paper glue to get me started. So I'm applying a little bit of FIFA paper glue on one side. So I'm folding this over and make it stick. So you can see, because I applied the sprayer thingy, now I can guide my FIFA paper on my wire and it's soft and pliable enough so I can create my branches and I'm pressing ever so slightly maybe every two three times I'm rotating this wafer paper something like this so now I have my branch and what I'm going to do is just spin it a little bit to make this branches or like to make this pine needles to become fluffy and then I will make a hook and I will draw it like this upside down because I want this pine needles to grow down so again I'm checking on my wafer paper <laughs> And the other thing you can do if you want to uh, make your uh, pine branches or thicker, you can pull it up like this and you will have this beautiful, even fluffier branches. So to make it fluffy and um, to make the pine needles to go out a little bit. So I'm going to shape it. And now you can see, so this one is the first one, this one is the second one. We use the same amount of wafer paper just the way we put it on the wire. It makes the difference. So it depends on your needs. And then when you're going to assemble, you can use a little bit of uh, floral tape and you can tape them together. Uh, I usually prefer to use brown. It just looks better for this particular application. We have wafer paper pine branch like this. I'll show you another way if you don't want to use any wire, what you can do with your wafer paper branches. So I'm going to use the same uh, pieces of wafer paper that's already been cut and sprayed. It's just a little bit too dry, so I'm going to apply my um, sprayer my steamer and make it softer on both sides uh, my wafer paper is pliable okay it's good enough I'm going to apply just a touch of wafer paper glue on one side so I'm taking my wire but I didn't make any hooks on the top of this wire and I'm going to glue this wafer paper to itself more than to my wire. So I'm guiding this down like this. When it's glued together like this, I can carefully pull my wire down and remove my branch from the wire. And I will leave it to dry like this and it will totally still keep its shape and will be just a wafer paper branch without any wire. So if you want to use it on your cupcakes, 
or just as a decoration piece, you can definitely do the same technique without using any wire. So here I have another one. If you want to make it longer without using a wire, you can let it, uh, let it dry, for example, like this, and just glue a few pieces together. So you can insert one into another and you will have a longer branch without any wire. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you learn how to make uh, wired by branches or even the one without using any wire that you can use as cupcake topper or put it on your cookie or you can create this uh, flower arrangement. It's up to you how you're going to use your wafer paper. If you're going to recreate any of this uh, branches, leaves, pine cones, please tag me on social media as Astashkina Cakes. I would love to see your creations. And I'll see you next week, same time, same place. Bye-bye.